Hi, my name is Roger Ahuja, and we're going to take a few minutes to talk about the Intel DZ68ZV motherboard. The manufacturer part number on this is BOXDZ68ZV. To start off with, this board uses an LGA1555 socket and supports a variety of CPUs, including the i3, i5, and i7 second generation processors. I'm not going to get into the exact CPUs as this information can change with BIOS and firmware updates. You can look at Intel's website to find out exactly which model CPUs are supported. The board supports dual channel DDR3 memory and has four slots. It also has two PCI Express by 16 slots that support ATI Crossfire and NVIDIA SLI. Now just so you understand, if you run SLI or Crossfire, the slots will be running as PCI Express by 8. You should do some more research on this if you're planning on running SLI. Here we have three PCI Express by one slots. A couple of PCI slots round out all the slots in the machine. There are two connectors for your power supply. The 12 volt processor core voltage connector is a 2x4 pin and is located right here. Here in red we have the CPU fan power connector. And over here is an alternate front power LED. There are two on this motherboard, one here and one on the front panel header which we will look at later. The main power is a 2x12 connector. There's also a power button and reset button right here on the motherboard, which is pretty cool. Right next to it is a diagnostic LED. In red here is a front fan power connector. Here we have a coin cell battery for backing up your BIOS settings. The board has two SATA ports that support the 6 gig transfer rate. They are blue in color so you can tell them apart from the four SATA ports that support the 3 gig transfer rate. Make sure you plug your 6 gig capable drives into the correct slots so you can get the most speed out of your system. The controller also supports RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10 on the SATA 300 ports. The next item as we move along the edge of the board are the infrared connections. These three connectors here are for an additional 6 USB ports. They can be connected to the front of your case and you can also buy additional cables to put more ports in the back. The blue connector here is the firewire connector for the front of your computer chassis. Assuming, of course, that your chassis has a front firewire connector. The front panel header, which connects your power switch, reset switch, hard drive LED, and power LED are all right here. The red connector here is for an auxiliary fan. Usually your computer chassis will have a rear fan and you would plug that into here. The yellow connector here is an SPDIF header. This other yellow connector is for the front panel audio header so that you can use the front audio jacks on your case. Now let's look at the ports that will be sticking out of the back of your machine. You have your audio connections here. There are two USB 3 ports in blue, your Ethernet port, and two USB 2 ports are right here. Four more USB ports here. A BIOS recovery switch here for all you overclockers, a really nice feature. A Firewire port and two more USB ports. And last but not least, an eSATA connection. Hope you find this useful and thanks for your time.